kneel and live. I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. When you're invited to your own barbecue and you accept the invitation in a way, because that's what it is when they say kneel or burn, and you do have a choice. Just like John, Mance holds his honor and pride over anything, and he will not back down. And I think John understands that. There is only one true king. Here stands your king of lies. Behold the fate of those who choose the darkness. He knows uh, that this is gonna just be terrible, but in the face of those odds, you try and keep some semblance of dignity until it's just impossible and you, you become a hopeless, gibbering, blubbering wreck. The man was always about, can we stop this bleeding? Can we stop people killing? So many people dying, how do we do this? That touched Jon Snow somewhere, and he saw this suffering again, he said, we're gonna cut this short. It was an interesting kind of thought process I had to go through. So, is he know the whole way through that he's gonna do this, or is it a split second decision? I think he doesn't know. He doesn't know what he's gonna do. It's a mark of who John is that he decides, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk my life to save this man's pain. And that's why we like John, hopefully. That's why he's a good person in this story.